It's easy websites come with one of the simplest editing systems you'll ever see. When you log into your It's Easy website, one of the first things you'll notice is a grey toolbar at the top of the screen. Over on the left hand side, you have the login and save section. First is the exit button. This will exit you out of the editing system, meaning you do not have to log back in when you want to edit your website. Next is the log out button. Clicking on this will log you out of edit mode, meaning you'll have to type in your login details next time you want to edit your website. Then you have the save button. Once you have made any changes in your website, you can hover over this button to preview the changes. Then just click to save. The next section is the text control. This is for all your website text changes. First is the paste button for pasting text into your website. Simply copy text from somewhere Then click this button and paste it in the box. If you have copied text from the same website page, you can choose to click Formatted Text and it will automatically paste the formatted text so you don't have to do it again. Once you are happy with it, just click Paste. Then we have the bold button for bolding up text. Italic button. Hover over the U and this will drop down options so you can underline, strike through and overline text. You can caps lock text by clicking this one. Here we have different typefaces for your text. These are the main typefaces that are used across all browsers to ensure your website is displayed as accurately as possible across all website browsers. Next is the text size. This is dynamic, so you can drag up and down to get the required size. Here we have your colour options. Simply click on a colour you require to change the colour of your text. This box contains the main colours on your website, but you can add new colours here by going to the coloured management section of the website and adding more. Next is the linking button. Highlight the text you want to link and then click link. In here you can choose to link to any page on your website, web shop, any files you have uploaded or anchors you might have set up. You can also add any other links by adding the URL into this section. By clicking on this, it will make the link open up in a new window or tab, meaning visitors do not navigate away from your site when linking to an external website. Like Microsoft Word, you can add bullet points to any lists on your website here. Here is the text alignment, left, centre, right and justify. Using this tool, you can indent text to the right and this one will indent the text to the left. Next is text spacing. You can increase and decrease the line height. Then increase or decrease the character spacing. Here we have symbols. If you need a symbol added, then it will be in here. Finally, in the text control section, you have the spell check. Next is the advanced section. Each of these buttons will have their own how-to videos explaining how they work. So I will just run through them now so you know what's there. First is the SEO tool. Hover over the button and it will pop up a traffic light system telling you how well or how poor your title tags and page description is. Click on the SEO button to edit the page title tag and page description text. Click on the file manager if you need to upload or delete any of your files. In the middle of this section, we have the Organise Pages button where you can rename, delete, show and hide web pages. Then the Advanced Feature button will pop open some more options. QR Code Generator, Shop Management, Statistics, Colour Management, Permission Management, Integration, Comments Management, List Management, and you can also view the edit log. 
Finally on the toolbar you have the help file, which covers all aspects of the It's Easy editing system, including this section we are covering now.